Majority of the area now is seeing widespread rainfall, now mixing it with snow, especially west of I-75, and that line is progressively creeping very close to Toledo, Bowling Green, and Finley. Likely within the next 60 minutes, you're going to see some wet snowflakes that will mix in. Let's focus in on this one area. This is Southern Defiance County, right along State Route 15, where we got a little patch of some steadier snow. That could just bring the minor coating of snow, but a lot of these snowflakes melting very quickly. And this is between about Continental and Defiance, out toward Ayers, up toward Florida and over toward Holgate into Henry County uh, and including the city of Napoleon where we see that transition over to some wet snowflakes happening right now from Grand Rapids back over toward Liberty Center. We'll include White House and Waterville in that mix very shortly here perhaps even before the top of the hour, start to see some snowflakes. And where we're going to get them into the Toledo Metro earliest, likely north of Airport Highway up towards Sylvania, where we could check in quickly on some of the road conditions. And it looks quite wet out there towards Central Avenue and 475. A little bit of the ponding and pooling of some of those raindrops on the median of the roadway. One more stop up toward the Ohio-Michigan state line, right on US 23. And you can see a little spray as those cars are coming out of Michigan down back into Ohio. Use extra cautious roads will be wet tonight. Upper 30s showed up at the Toledo Metro, a little bit closer to the freezing mark to the west. Still hanging on to some low 40s off to the east, but long gone are the upper 50s and low 60s that we had yesterday. So here's that cooler air arriving with this weakening storm system. And this storm system not going to be anything that's going to be major. So that rain snow shower risk is going to be out there this evening. No real accumulation into the weekend. Fairly comfortable for this point in January and in our area, no major winter storm over the next seven to 10 days. Things are going to remain exceptionally quiet for us, but we could talk about a major West Coast storm and let's get over to meteorologist John Birchfield. John, uh, the buzzword with this one, atmospheric river. Explain what this means and is this a beneficial storm for the state of California? Well, a river is certainly an apt way to put it because it's been one after another with lots of storm systems funneling in as low pressure churns away off the Pacific coast. Tons of moisture has dumped repeated rainfall and up in the higher elevations, some extremely heavy snowfall. You can see the spinning of this system on satellite imagery. That's basically a photo taken from outer space showing you that atmospheric river that is funneling in moisture also some extreme wind reports, wind gusts up to 70 miles an hour, and even some severe thunderstorms with this system. A live look at WTOL 11 Doppler radar shows you rain continuing, and also up in the Sierra Nevada, that blue color shows you snow at some of the higher latitudes where we are seeing snow in the mountains as a result of this system. Flood alerts, almost the entire state of California has some sort of weather alert or advisory, and the mountainous areas have winter storm warnings where several feet of snow have fallen in in the last several days. Now this has been one of the best starts to California ski resorts on record. You can see that stripe of snow there where three to five feet has fallen in the last 24 to 48 hours. In addition to the rain and snow, some powerful waves 25 to 35 feet off the Pacific resulting from this system. Hour by hour forecast, we will briefly get some reprieve from that atmospheric river as it shifts to the north, but then by Saturday, another storm system could bring some more rainfall for California. So is this going to solve the drought problem? The short answer is no. A lot of the freshwater reservoirs are still rather empty. Some of these major lakes only about one third full at this point. Again, the drought is so long and prevailing that one system really isn't going to solve the problem. And Chris, I know we're getting a little bit of rain snow here this evening. I'll take that over what California is experiencing right now. A lot right of now. people have been asking me, though, John, of course, the answer to the question is this helping the drought concerns. But is this system actually going to make it across the country and impact our area? No, our weather pattern is actually going to stay rather quiet compared to the weather out on the West Coast. That looks like they will continue in that atmospheric river pattern. And they'll take everything they can get, just hopefully not too quickly and too much of that. John Birchfield, thank you very much. Appreciate that. For us, the rest of these showers and snowflakes, they're going to drift across the area as we go through tonight. Little of any accumulation. We're not talking any snowfall that's going to stick around. And overnight, a couple flurries. We get a little closer to the freezing mark. Cloudy skies into tomorrow morning. It is going to be a gloomy day tomorrow. Widespread thicker cloud cover, some occasional passing flurries, and that's going to keep us in the upper 30s as we go through the afternoon tomorrow. It'll be a cool 
January feeling day. So your Friday shapes up like this low to mid 30s in the morning. We're only going to reach into the upper 30s into the afternoon. Extensive cloud cover, but brighter skies begin to return into the weekend. Both days, Saturday, Sunday, give us at least a decent chance of some sunshine. That'll keep us in the upper 30s, and I expect we're to be quite dry and quiet through the weekend and into early next week. Check out a couple days Monday, Tuesday into the lower 40s. And the rest of our 10 day forecast very quiet into mid January highs near or just above average in the upper 30s.